Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Magnius and welcome Welcome back to yet another episode of Divine RPG. Here you can see that we have discovered the ever-elusive Land Whale and it is serenading us with its beautiful song. Yeah, thank you so much, Land Whale. Um, you have 800 HP. I'm not even sure if I should try to kill you or not, but you're right next to our spawn, so I'm gonna go ahead and try. We're gonna see what drops from you. <gasps> I don't think it attacks us, actually. This is taking far longer than I thought it would. Oh, oh, oh gosh! Holy crap, that thing hurts. That hurts a lot. Oh. Um. Wow, I did not expect that to hurt that much. Uh... I sort of don't want to go near it now, actually, because that was extremely painful. Maybe... Maybe... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, <laughs> oh no! Attack of the land whale! Attack of the land whale! Oh, what do we do? It's in the way of our house. We can't get in and make our new armor. I got so much real might. It's becoming dark. We're gonna die. Oh god. What have I done? What have I done? I need to get back into our home. How did you get out of the ocean, you disgusting creature? Ah! 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 ah. Oh. Go back into the water where you belong. Go. Go. Ah, oh, jeez, man. Okay. Oh, um, that was a bad idea. That was a very, very bad idea. However, however, we're, we're done with that for now. We have 46 real might bars, which I, I mined ever so carefully off camera. And um, we got 46 diamonds as well. I also killed some icemen, got a bunch of frozen shards and ice stones. Can I turn these back into frozen shards? Yeah, the answer is no. No, I cannot. So we're going to keep those as... As shards for now, just in case I ever need them. But the first thing we need to do is make our set of real bite. So, there's our hat. Is this? Yes, yes it is. That's how we make that. And we make our pants. And then we make our boots. We have 22 more bars available. I got... I got extra stuffings, just in case, because we need to make some tools as well. Uh... I guess I should make myself a pickaxe, not a pickaxe, an axe and shovel as well, because, you know, meh. Don't really want to be- oh, I bet this is so amazing. Don't really want to be using this iron stuff anymore. Uh, I do not have much space to throw stuff away. Meh. Well, I'll put this in here, and I'll just throw this this way. I won't touch it, it'll be fine. And I suppose... I should do this. Now this stuff is very valuable since real might is so awesome. However, real might is moderately common, so I'm not going to worry about it too too much for now. Let's go ahead and put on our new armor. Do -do -do. Let's see, 158 uses, but these are unbreakable and they give us 8.5% damage reduction. Holy crap, I look amazing. I am literally Iron Man. Look at this. I am Iron Man with a crown. That is amazing. I, I want to see myself. Which which is it again? F five? Yeah, there we go. Man, I I just I look so good. Look at this. Oh yes. This this needs to be the well, I guess I don't use screenshots for uh, this particular series, but this this would be an awesome screenshot. Look at me. I am so bouse. Alright, very good. I'm very pleased with our new armor. I, uh, the real might sword does not do as much as this, right? So let's, let's double check that. The real might sword, yeah, that's just plus five. This is plus 14. I remember thinking that was really weird because we, we got this much earlier than we got the real might, but apparently real might is risk free to dig as long as you, ah, uh, yes, this stuff. I suppose this is the next thing we should be trying to get. I'm not exactly sure though. However, before we do any of that, I feel like we should attempt to make ourselves an enchanting table. And we already went out of our ooh, super enchanting table. How do we make that? Uh, corrupted stones and dark stones. I do not have either of those yet, so I suppose we're going to go for the normal one for now. We have plenty of diamonds, we have four obsidian, and we have a book, so we can indeed make that. Oh, I didn't want to pick this up. Oh, make it go away. 
Let's see, where is our diamond? We need two of those. We should have four obsidian right here, and one of our books. We need to make ourselves a few bookcases to make, you know, our enchantments actually worth something. And we don't yet have 30 levels, because I did die in the nether, so I lost a lot of levels, which is very, very sad. But regardless, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, Magnus. You can get your levels back. No problem. There's our enchanting table, and now the question is, where in the world do I put this thing? Um... Uh, I suppose we can cut a hole this way. I don't really like to this, doing this, but I don't really have much of a choice, I suppose. <laughs> oh wow, that's really fast. That's nice, alright. I need to make this bigger because I'm claustrophobic as crap. Let's see, I suppose I want... Where do I want this to be? If it's gonna be right here... No, we need, we need stacks of books. So it needs to be here, I suppose? And then there needs to be a single line around it, like this. And then the books, right? So this would be the empty space. Let's let's use torches. If this is where the enchanting table is, here's the empty space. And the collection of books would be around it, so... I think I know what I'm doing. Possibly. Maybe. I just hope I don't accidentally unleash some terrible creatures, because I've heard many creatures down in the mines, by the way, when I was digging. There are all sorts of terrifying sounds coming from the walls, along with the lava and other things, of course. But I, I worry about such things. I don't want to unleash any of those cave dwellers. Apparently those cave dweller things are an easy way to get real might, but I really didn't feel like going into any cave systems. Uh, does that make sense? It looks like it does. All right. I don't know if we have enough books to do this. We may not. However, I am going to see. We are going to attempt such a thing. I suppose that I can place this here for now. This is quite dark, which makes me uncomfortable. So perhaps if we put some light right here, right here for now. Isn't so great, but we'll we'll fix it later. Uh, bookcase, bookcase. Why do I always forget how to make these things? Just three books and lots of wood. I don't think I have enough wood for that. I only have 20. Let's see how many bookcases we can make. Not many at all. Okay, so I need 60 more pieces of wood. Now that I have... Uh, it's nighttime, let's go to sleep. Oh, such a long day in Minecraft. So many monsters trying to kill us, including land whales. Who would have ever thought? Okay, where is my real might axe? Here we go. There is something out here. I can hear the spider. It's probably right up above us. There it is, and it's dead. Very nice. Let's see, I need some really tall trees. Unfortunately, in Divine RPG, unlike Attack of the Bee Team, we do not get the automatically despawning trees once you cut away all their wood. So it is actually quite bothersome to cut down trees here. Makes me quite sad. But since the Real Might Axe is so amazing, I'm not really going to worry about it too much. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go to town on these trees. Now, I needed 60 things of wood. And 10 logs should give me 40 pieces of wood, right? So we shouldn't need that many. Maybe one more small tree. This isn't exactly a small, small tree, but me, it's close enough. This should be plenty of wood, I believe. There we go. Where were where the tiny spruce trees? Here we go. Nom nom nom. Come here, spruce trees.
one there and sustainability that is not where you're supposed to go right here has been maintained come here little piece of wood thank you very much there we go wonderful that worked perfectly i think we still have two books left over Okay, so there's 13. This is certainly not enough to do everything. And I have tons of coal, so I'm not worried about that at all. Okay, how many is that? Uh, the... Ah, only lets us go up to 20? Is that how it is? Yeah, it looks like 20 is the highest we can go. Oh, wait. That's as much as I have. Okay, so maybe this isn't a problem. I forget how many bookcases you need to access the level 30 spells, but maybe this is a problem of my EXP and not a problem of the actual enchantments. Personally, I'm wondering what in the world these real might tools with enchantments on them become, because that would be amazing. We're going to leave this here for now. I'll work on this later, because I do not want to deal with that. However... I have no idea what sort of crazy stuff is supposed to be happening next, but I do want to kill a whale, because I'm curious. So, first things first, I'm going to deposit the vast majority of our valuable things, including our useless iron armor now, and our signs. Our signs have been used, by the way, down in the, uh, in the mines to tell myself where I cannot go do two things like, eh, I don't know, lava. Freaking lava, man. Okay, I get the feeling that I'm never going to get the opportunity to fight a land... A land will ever again. That was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. However, there is a giant crab over here. Come here, crab. I'm very interested in seeing what you've got. Come here. No, no. Come back, crab. This is just a normal crab. This isn't a king crab. Oh, no, 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 it's beating the crap out of me, no, bad, no, ah, oh, I knew that would happen, I was slain by a crab, oh, did I really have that low HP from the very beginning, or was that only two hits, oh, man, this is terrible, freaking crabs, man, how can they be so powerful, and I, oh, I wonder how much experience I lost, oh, my god, Tons, tons of experience. I am never going to get 30 levels in this. Where are my shoes, crab? Did you eat my shoes? I seriously think he ate my shoes. Where did my shoes go? Oh, there they are. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, well, clearly that was a terrible idea, Mr. Crab. I'm wearing real might armor, but clearly I can still be killed by a crab. I don't get it. I'm gonna go ahead and kill you, because I know I can now. I have full HP. I probably started that fight with low HP, right? 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 Maybe. Let's see. No, see? Jesus, super powerful wire crab, so strong! Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Whew. Man, I... Where in the world did my food go? Where's my bread? The crab must have eaten my bread. Oh my gosh, why? Divine RPG, man, this this thing, it's it's not for the faint of heart. I am going to remove this. Oh, what a terrible idea. And I get a single crab claw, and I can't remember what those things are for either way. Hmm. Meh. There's another crab over there. No way am I going to attack that thing. No way. Not going near it. Uh, Crab Claw. 
Seriously, what were these things for again? Crab claw. Oh, two of them can make the crab claw cannon 19 range damage. Huh. Crab anchor. I don't know what aquatic ingots are. I have no idea how to get these pure aquatic pellets. Hmm. Monster spawner king crab. I've only seen one of those king crabs before, I think. So I have no... Actually, I should go grab some food. So I have no idea. Hmm. Maybe we should go swimming. Maybe, maybe that's the answer. So much food. Pretty sure that's the answer. Let's go swimming. And maybe while we're swimming, we will discover some aquatic pellets that we can mine on the bottom of the ocean. That would make sense for places to be. Otherwise, it could be that it's something ridiculous, like we need to build ourselves another portal to another dimension, an underwater dimension. If that's the case, I don't want any part of it, because water dimensions would probably kill us at the moment. We have no way to breathe underwater. I'm assuming that we'll be basically underwater the entire time. Uh, what was I doing? I was making food. I can't believe, like, of all the things that can kill us, like, crabs are clearly the thing that's doing it the most. Ah, oh, sigh. Freaking crabs, man. I really, I really don't want to have to make, like, an EXP farm where I, I kill a lot of chickens and cows in order to level up. But, uh, that may be necessary if I want to get enchantments. We'll see. Freaking crabs, man. Oh, god. So annoying. Excuse me, sheep. You, uh, you need to move? Thank you. Please move, sheep. I can't remember if I'm the one who planted this stuff or if it was just here naturally, but either way, I am going to take advantage of it being here. We're going to start our own little artificial farm. We're going to use this to make our bookcases, finish up our enchantment room, because I always enjoy having a little enchantment room like that rather than something grand and fantastic, and that also takes tons of time. I guess before we do other things, I should also show you the... Uh, so as you can see, this one clearly ended in lava, if you remember, as did these two. Apparently this is directly next to a lava lake. I, uh... This one ended in lava, this one finally ended in lava. This one ended in lava quite quickly, which is unfortunate. Apparently there's a lava lake literally right there. This side's gonna be off limits for a while. This one, on the other hand, this went quite a ways and did not end in lava. This is sort of like our main chamber, I suppose, where all of the offshoots are going to go off of it. But this one went for quite a ways. And it ended up ending with a mine shaft instead of a lava place. And unfortunately, there wasn't really anything interesting in this mine shaft. You can tell that there are monsters around here somewhere, because you can hear them through the walls. Sometimes they attack each other and stuff. There's also lava around here somewhere. But it didn't go into a larger cave system, so unfortunately it's quite boring. I suppose... I don't have any of my real might tools, so I can't really dig anything. However, if I did, I could try to dig in some directions to try to find something. We may do that in another episode. But... let's see... I wonder what the next thing is that we're supposed to be doing. In fact, why don't I check that right now? Okay, so it appears that the next thing we need to do is go back to the nether. Now, I do not enjoy the nether at all, but one of the things that we should do is get our Arlemite and our Rupee, or so this little guide says from the RPG Divine RPG Wiki. So let's go ahead and craft up ourselves our Arlemite and Rupee bars and then combine two of those into... What are they, what are they called? I can't remember. 
Dark bars? Something? Shadow bars? Yeah, shadow bars, I think? And we should be able to take this netherite and make netherite chunks, which I believe is making a cross like this. Yes, indeed. So there's one of those, and there's two of those. Now if we combine these with the Arlamite and the Rupees, now I do not have three Arlamite like it told me that I should have, however, however, I think by, wait, yeah, put that back. I think I should still be able to combine two Rupees and two Arlamite, two Shadow Bars, and from this and the chunks, I believe I should be able to make the Netherite Boots. Now, Netherite Boots give 12.5% damage reduction, and also fire protection, and they're unbreakable. So this is the next upgrade from Real Might. 12.5 and 8.5, which is nice, not exactly a full set, that will take much more time to make since Arlamite is super freaking rare. Uh, as I said in all of my mining so far I've done, I've only found two Arlamite ores, so that definitely took a long time to get. I'm gonna put these right here because it's cool and I like it. Uh, and I think other than that I need to get some more Molten Shards to make stuffins. Uh, I really don't want to go back to the nether because the nether is terrifying to me, but apparently there's there's nothing we can do about that. I need to get some purple blazes from the Scorchers because the sword that we can make that is actually better than the frost sword, the guide gives all sorts of swords to make like these. Oh, what was that? Oh, hello, I'ma kill you. Get out of my house. Get out of my- ooh. That was nice. Very good. So this this is why I'm never going to have to make any of those weaker swords such as this thing. This is blood gems. So where are my... There. This thing. This thing has 520 uses and it has plus 9. Now this, this thing has like tons of uses. I don't even know how many uses this thing has. Like 7,000 or so and it has plus 14. So I'm never going to make a blood gem sword. Apparently, Blood Gem Swords used to be infinite, and they used to have infinite uses, but apparently that is no longer true. There's no reason for me to ever make one of those. However, if I get the uh, purple blazes, apparently I should be able to make a sword that does 26 damage. Let's go to sleep, because I don't want to have monsters running around outside. And that sword is definitely better than our Frost Sword, so I want to have that for bosses and things like that. And after that, apparently, we need to kill ourselves some king crabs, because king crabs are what drop the pellets that we need to... Oh, hello, creeper on top of my house. What are you doing up there? Mr. Creeper. Mr. Creeper? No, no. I'll just leave you there for then. I don't want you jumping down. What was I doing? Oh yes, going going to the nether. Because I clearly have a death wish and I want to die immediately rather than later. But we have to kill king crabs eventually. King crabs are terrifying, but apparently since they're passive mobs, you can uh, toss them into a hole and then beat the crap out of them while they're in a hole. I don't want to go to the nether. Hello sheep, you are in terrible trouble, you're gonna die. Um, I don't know what these tomatoes are for, but they freak me out. Alright. Here we go. Looking for some of those blazes. Scorchers. Ow, 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 ow! What in the- ow! No! No, why are there so many of these? This is the nether! You're not supposed to be here! No! No! <laughs> My stuff! Oh my god, are you serious? Those things are not supposed to be in the nether! What in the world? Why were those there? No! Oh my god. Okay guys, so uh, I came into the nether and I immediately died and now I'm back in the nether again and I'm surrounded by my death points once again. I am so incredibly afraid of this place. Luckily, my, my stuff did not actually fall into the lava, although apparently a lot of my experience points did. 
Oh my god. Oh. No, go away. Get away from me. I don't know what happened to the other frost that was here. There's my redstone. But apparently all of the stuff that I was actually wearing, like this stuff, this stuff actually went back through the portal and was outside of the portal when I came back to it, so... It almost fell in the lava, which makes me think I should probably cover up the lava hole that my portal is right above. Oh, there's the other frost. There it is. Oh, uh, stinking bats, go away. Oh, and I dropped my food. Ah, uh, no, 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 get up. No, no, oh, jeez. Uh, uh. Oh, it didn't even drop anything. What a jerk. Oh my gosh. This is, this is so disappointing. Did I have to go back already because my food dropped and I have no idea where my food went. I certainly didn't pick it up. Uh, scorches, those are what I want to kill, but clearly I cannot do that now. Because I have no health. Ah, uh, see, this is where I died. I died right here, so that's why my stuff came back through the portal, apparently. Ah. Uh, I swear, man. I... Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, Creeper, no. I am not in the mood for your shenanigans, Creeper. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, Creeper. Come on, come here. Come on. Come here, creeper. Fine. There. Oh. Sigh. So I don't. I don't want to deal with this. This is too much for me. I just. I just can't take it. You know. <sighs> oh. Okay. So clearly, I need to go back to the Nether another day. We don't have enough time for this today. Thank you so much everyone for watching, hopefully next episode we will be able to survive a little bit longer in the nether if there aren't tons of frosts hanging around near the entrance, and uh, hopefully we will kill a few scorches and get some purple blazes or whatever those things are called. So thank you for watching, my name is Magnius, and I will see you next time.